We bought a house. A very tiny space. Just kidding. <laughs> We're at the People's Tiny House Festival here in Melbourne, Colorado. Here to show you all the different houses. Super excited. Why are we super excited? Because we are checking out the People's Tiny House Festival. <laughs> There's so many vans and buses and small houses. And it's something that we've been watching on Netflix a lot and YouTube and Amazon. And to actually be here in person and see them in proportion to our human size. <laughs> Normal is house. so exciting. Absolutely. And we're not like necessarily looking to move into a tiny house like tomorrow kind of thing. But you know, at least just check it out and see what it's like, if it fits us. That's nonsense, we've considered van life for a while. <laughs> so we're gonna take you around, walk around, and show you what tiny houses are like, and maybe it might be something interesting for you too. Yeah, so let's go. Yeah. Now we're walking down the vendor lane, at least that's what I'm calling it, if it's vendor something or another. But they got all the vendor stands set up. Yeah. All right, let's go tour this one. I like the mugs. Out of the entire van, you really like the mugs? Yeah. They have this trailer over here. I've never seen a tiny house in a trailer before, like a horse trailer. And so I'm really curious to check it out. Wow, this is really great. This one actually has a bathroom too. This one has a bathroom right over there, which some of the vans we've seen so far have not. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh. It's like a full bathroom. This is like a tiny apartment. All right, so the trailer. The trailer so far is my favorite. It's my favorite too. It's, it's a really interesting one. I've never seen anything like that before, but it's really cool. Like you walk in that little living room area and you get a full bathroom, which is nice, like an actual proper bathroom. It's like in a small apartment. Yeah, it is like a little small apartment. All right, you ready to see some vans? Yeah, let's go check some more. I'm sitting inside a converted van by Van Smith. We actually get to see them in person versus just on Instagram. We're in Boulder, Colorado. And, you know, yeah. Lots of we've been here for like 30 minutes yeah. and we've checked out so many vans already. I think the best thing to do with this is just like a van montage of everything. Yeah. What am I getting? Well, I saw for the cheesesteak and I was sold. We got some Philly cheesesteaks. We just finished lunch and we made some really awesome friends. Jamie, Whitney, and Jay. Yeah. Plus some others. Yep. And we talked a lot about food, about different places, St. Louis, DC, Missouri. Las Vegas. Yeah, we talked like all these different places. It was such a good, good conversation. We were there for like an hour just talking. I know, they were so <laughs> wonderful. It so, was amazing. Yeah, now I feel really happy because I was a little hangry and overheated, but now I'm ready to go see houses because I feel energized by our new friends. Yeah. So like our second to last video that we just did with Brian, we're finding all these amazing communities in these different little niches. So where last time we met all the airplane people and we talked about the car people, this time we're meeting all the van life people. And what a couple of the owners have told us is that they like doing these events because A, they make new friends and B, it's an opportunity for all of them to come together and hang out and then plan trips. So we've learned all sorts of things about van lifing, things to do with video, how to build a van, and how to maintain our pets in a van so that they're safe and comfortable. Let's go check some of them out. Is Jed and Sandy's van, and Jed gave us all sorts of tips on van lifing build and how to make a little bit of money off of, or a lot of money off of van lifing, but let's go check out their van.
How cute is this? We're making our way over to the tiny houses next. We've finally. Been, finally, we've been checking out the vans for the past couple hours. We haven't seen all the vans yet, unfortunately, but we have seen quite a few of them. Yep. And Anna really wanted to go check out the tiny houses. I wanted to at least see one. Yeah. And Actually, a, I'd like to see more than one, but I feel like we're not moving through things quickly enough, so. There's too many people to talk to and too much like stuff to explore. Yep. But we're gonna make our way over to the tiny houses next and we'll show you some of those. Yay. We found the ideal bathtub for Betsy. I like this one a lot. I like this a lot. Yeah. We have a cart. Yeah. Do you see how they have like the double bunks? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Gosh, look at this bathroom. <laughs> That's amazing. This is my favorite. This is really cool. Oh my god. Look at this bathroom. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. This, this bathroom is, is so beautiful. So I'm overheated, which doesn't make me for very entertaining anything on camera. So Adam has promised me ice cream and I'm hoping that the line isn't too long and that they're not sold out because I need to sit under a tree for like 15 minutes and cool down. <laughs> that way we can go see the buses and actually make this entertaining. This has been outstanding. We've got about two more hours left until they close. And I'm hoping to see it all because there's so much here to do. Oh, Anna's running away from me. Let's go get some ice cream. Can I have a combo cup with small with ice cream? Small ice cream combo cup? Yeah. And you want that with chocolate, caramel, or strawberry syrup? Caramel. I got dessert. Can't wait. All right, we're on the hunt for a school bus, but we'll see because we ran out of water. Yeah, we got one hour left until it closes down. And I know we haven't even gotten like, through all of it yet. Nope, and there are some seriously long lines. Seriously, but... Ooh, they got some uh, shipping containers. Let's go check those out now. Washer dryer? Ooh. Oh wow. This is a huge space. Right? It's a huge bus. It's a huge space though. Okay. So I just left this bus back here and the owners are very cool. And the one of the owners asked me, he's like, so uh, anything particular stand out? And I told him, you know, a couple of things that I really liked. And for some reason we got talking about the pillows on the queen pullout bed. They're stuffed with winter clothes. So instead of actually being pillows, they're formed by clothing that's inside. I'm like, now I know what I'm gonna do with all the pillows on the couch. Such a genius idea. Essentially, like, 
Unfortunately, it's time to go. All good things must come to an end. We spent, I think almost five hours walking around tiny homes and we probably saw 75% of them maybe, maybe even 60%. Probably 60. <laughs> You're probably close to 60. There is so many places to check out. Yeah, a lot of tiny homes, a lot of vans, a lot of school buses, a lot of, con well, not a lot of containers, a few containers, uh, a lot of fifth wheelers. Yeah, so many places. So what I'm gonna do is to tell you the top three places. Okay, so are you doing your top three places and I do mine? You jump in. Okay. And uh, if there's something that you don't, is not in your in my, in my list, I'll let you know. Okay. okay. So we really liked Jed and Sandy Hall from Wonderful Revolution. Yes. This is uh, our favorite sprinter van conversion, and plus they were really cool and they had a cat. <laughs> and the cats were made cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because we, we have pets, so it was just yeah. really great to talk to pet owners and how they travel full time on the road yeah. with a sprinter van and a pet. I feel like a lot of the other sprinter vans we looked at were like model versions, and they felt like that very sterile model thing. This one felt like an actual home. Yes. And it's more like what we were looking for mm -hmm. as far as experiencing and seeing and walking in. Um, versus something that looked like an RV that had been put into a Sprinter van, which is something you'd take on a weekend. Yeah. What's right. next place? So next up is Mitchcraft Custom Tiny Homes. I really liked this one, uh, A, because they had AC. <laughs> B, uh, the feature. bathroom was beautiful, but then you go upstairs into what they would consider like the office or potential bedroom. So you go yeah. up and then they had a washer and dryer in there and then a loft. So that's what I really liked as far as a uh, tiny home. Yeah. And it was just really well decorated. It had skylights and it was just really airy and beautiful, more of the style that I would want in a home. And so for me, it was a little bit different. And can you hold this real quick? Yes. So I really liked the... Oh, True Veil. I liked the, really like the True Veil redesign. Yes. That place was, it was like a little trailer. Um, I shouldn't say a little trailer, like in a negative way, but it was just a... It's a fifth wheel. It's a fifth wheel and it was absolutely gorgeous. I could see us living there. It was just, you walked in there and it felt so cozy to me. Yeah, and their designs are really cute and they're actually my favorite uh, fifth wheel as well. Yeah. And then I guess uh, the third one for me is the school bus, which is their Happy Trails, yeah. which is the couple that does the video for Tiny Home. The reason why I liked it was A, they were really friendly, B, it was super clever, yeah. C, lived in, and we just really hit it off with video stuff, got some really great tips, but it was just, what we liked about all the school buses that we saw were, was that they were lived in. So it was more homey, more spacious, thought out, and not so sterile and so clean, I guess you would say. Everybody was super wonderful, and that's one of the things that I really liked about being here was the community of yeah. uh, van lifers and school bus lifers, which, you know, they're van lifers, on the road life. The mobile lifers. Mobile life, <laughs> nomad life, maybe, I don't, Please don't get mad if I'm saying that wrong. But it was just really cool to go into their world and everybody was just so friendly and so welcoming. Like it's just such a great community. Everybody knows each other. Oh yeah. And they all come and they hang out and they try to do stuff together, which I think is really cool. So the festival runs for two days. It's today, Saturday and tomorrow, Sunday. I think we've gotten enough of a taste of tiny homes, van life, container life all tiny cool living life. life. Uh, so we got a good enough of a taste of it, of it today that we're probably not gonna come back tomorrow. No, it was a really good event. I'm really happy we came. We just wanna say a huge thank you to everybody that we met today for your great company, your words of advice, your wisdom. It was really awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button at the bottom, follow us on Instagram, turn on the notifications, and we'll see you at the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.